Hello everyone, I am Vishnu Punai. I am developer of this tutorial on Forex and MetaTrader 4. The product owner and mentor of this project and development is Dr. Masood Sahaji. Okay, so here we are, have MetaTrader 4 with Forex. And this is this first screen we have after we log in. Now, before we go into how MetaTrader works and all the various buttons and bells and whistles, I will give you a quick overview on what is Forex and how it works using this chart here. So first off, Forex is short for the foreign exchange market. It's where users trade one currency for another with the goal of making a profit with respect to the exchange rate between two currencies, or what is known as the currency pair. An example of that is right here. I open up a chart for the Euro USD currency market. Now, Forex is the largest uh, trading market and it works from Sunday evening to Friday, 24 hours a day. And currency pairs as the one what I have here shows the relative value of one currency versus another. In this case, the euro dollar versus the US dollar. So secondly, we have to learn about how we buy and sell these currencies, which is the direction we are trading in. So for example, I have the euro USD dollar here. And what that means in this order is basically saying that it's the first quoted currency you are buying and selling. If I buy this currency, then I am saying that the currency is going to go up. So the curve will go up like this here, as we have here, appreciate or appreciate against the other currency, but depreciate as the curve goes down. If I sell this currency against the second currency, meaning I sell the euro dollar against the US dollar, then I'm saying the opposite. The currency will depreciate, or as it will go down on the chart here, and the second currency will go up or appreciate against the first. This is the basic idea or mechanism behind foreign exchange trading. Based on the information feedback by the market, as we will see in a few, how uh, effects on the market, whether it be political or other influences, affect how the, the currencies go up or go down or appreciate to depreciate in value. As we will see in MetaTrader 4, they have an uh, outlet for, to find information on that as well. So now that we have a basic understanding of how the foreign exchange trading works, let us dive into the main purpose of this tutorial, which is the functions and overview of MetaTrader 4. Let's first identify the main parts in front of us. First, we have the toolbars at the top here. And here is the market watch window. This, these four charts in this square box here is the market watch trade uh, window. And it has by default, four currency pairs up to view. And here we have the uh, market watch of all the selected currencies you have or you require uh, that you can trade in at the corner right here. And here we have our navigation bar right here. And at the bottom here, we have our terminal, which exposes us to a number of different tabs that we can use to find various forms of information. And we will get, go in depth of that in a few moments. So, let us look at our profile first. Now, what is our profile? So when you launch MetaTrader 4 and you log in, this is what greets you, these four charts here. And as you can see up here, we click here profiles. This is our default profile. As we see here, I selected default and this is what loads up. And this is the four default currencies that I have set. However, there are also some preset profiles here, for example, the British pound, and it loads up here. And this brings us to another function of MetaTrader. This is 
the charts laid out uh, horizontally. If we want to see the charts how it is a default, we go up here and arrange tiles. And it fills the space as necessary. If we want them to be arranged a certain way, we can do it tile horizontally or tile vertically or tile windows. Now, let us go back to our default profile. Now, there we have it. Now, here we are. Let's look quickly at the market watch. And we see a currency here, uh, USD, Japanese yen. And we want to see this currency. So what we can do here is drag the currency here and it say it replaces that chart with the currency we are dragged here or we can right click and hit chart window and it will load up in a separate chart yes so what we can do here is right click and go to symbols and we see different forex markets here and we can find for example the US dollar versus the church corner and we can show it and it will be added to our list here that's how we find currencies that perhaps is not listed there that you wish to trade in now let us go on to our charts charts play a huge role in our feedback from the market and how we can make decisions and create our trades or buy and sell the currency pairs for the market. So as I showed earlier, you can drag a chart and it will replace it there. Or you can right click it and open. Now the charts, you can view it in many different formats. We have here, we can click go up here, select the chart and do this and it will load up the candlestick version. We can have line charts or we can have bar charts. And let's just leave it at candle for this demonstration. Now, in addition to selecting the type of gar uh, chart, we can select the intervals, which is one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and a one hour, four hours, daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, we can edit these charts in various ways, and we create something called chart templates. So what you can do is you can right click on a chart, head to properties, and we can change, for example, the background to red and hit OK. And this is how you want to view it. You can view it this as well. And you can also insert different indicators. So for example, we can indicate this average directional movement index to the chart. You set the period, your style, and hit OK. And you see it was inserted here. And now when we create this, this can be a template. And what we can do is head over to the charts. Yes. So we create this as our template. Let's say we want to keep this chart with the red background and our indicators. Well, what we added, and we want to keep this as a template so that when we open a new chart, like so this is see how it loads as the default but we want it to load like how we have our chart saved here we can go select this chart chart template and we can save the templates and we name it example and that's our example now let's say we go to this other chart here 
charts, template, load template, and we hit example, and we load the charts or templates how we have our settings. You can choose a wide variety of settings and customize it how you like. Now, let us move on to tools to map out charts. Okay, so let's look at some drawing tools for the charts. Let's here we open up here. And the first tool we have is the vertical, the crosshair tool, I'm sorry, that allows you to select a time and rate for on the chart. The second tool we have is the vertical line tool, which allows you to mark points in time on the axis in the chart, like so. And then we have the horizontal line tool, which marks levels and price in the axis on the chart, like so. So here the vertical line marks the date and time, the horizontal line marks the price. And then we have the tread line tool, which you can select starting and end points that allows you to make comparisons. So you select the tread line tool, click at a point and drag, and then release at your second point. And now these tools allow you to make decisions based on your trades. Now, if you want to remove any of these tools, you can right click objects list and you can hit, I see our vertical line on our tread line, you can hit edit to edit the details of tools, color, etc. Or if you want to erase them, you can select them and hit delete. And they're gone from the graph. Now, let us look at, those are how we look at charts. Now let us look at how we create a order. We go to new order at the top here, or you hit F9 on your keyboard, new order. And then you would select your symbol here, volume, stop loss, total profit. And then depending on if you wish to buy or sell against the market, you select sell or buy. And that creates a trade. Now trades are displayed here in the terminal under trades, the trades tab, as we see here. And these are your trades, currently active trades. Now to cancel a trade, you hit cancel or close a trade at its current uh, price, you hit this X here. As now, before we demonstrate that, let's look at what this information is. It shows the time. Is it, it type if it's buy or sell? In this case, it's sell. The price and the total profit so far. And to close the trade, we hit X right here. And it would close. Now, to see <clears throat> previous trades, we go to account history. And here it demonstrates the previous trades based on your account history. Now, you can also, in trades, edit them by right-clicking, modify or delete, and you can make changes to your trade before closing them or continuing the trade. Now, let us look at the remaining important tabs on their navigation bar. So we have the news tab, which generally uh, shows at uh, during the market hours, shows articles related to various markets around the world, which help traders make decisions on what currency pairs to buy or sell, depending on whether it be economic issues uh, related to that currency period or political. And along with the information, you look at the charts and make decisions. The other next important tab is the mailbox where we have 
uh, mails from the trading platforms that may be of interest to you. And here we also have the next important uh, tab, which is articles. And these are articles that can be used by the user to help with learning MetaTrader and trading. I see I selected one and here we have it opens in your browser. The journal tab keeps a log of all activities, recent activities in your account. Now let us move on finally to expert traders and what they do. So MetaTrader allows you to trade automatically without your intervention. And it does this with expert traders. Now expert traders are pieces of software for the platform, which either advise users on how to trade, or it can make trades and automatically execute them for the user. And there are pieces of code that you can buy, which brings us to an important tab in the terminal, the market. So here we have, head to the market, we have trades, let's expand this a bit. We have expert traders and tools available that you can buy, some are, some are, some are priced, some are free, that can do or advise you on trades. Now, an example of this is we have here expert advisors. You have these two samples. Let's show you how to implement them. You can drag them onto the chart of the currency you wish to look at and head to common, allow live trading. Okay. Now we see it's here on this pair, but this smiley, sad smiley face indicates that it's not running. To allow it to run, you have to enable automated trading at the top here. See, it's now green and our smiley face is now happy, indicating that the auto trading and experts can be, will work or do what each expert says it, it should do. And now that brings us to the end of this tutorial on Forex and MetaTrader 4. And that's just a simple overview of how it works and how you can get started using this platform. The, for any inquiries on this tutorial, feel free to email me at my email listed here. And any of the project in inquiries, please feel free to email Dr. Masood Sahaji at the email listed here. And once again, the product owner is Dr. Masood Sahaji. Thank you very much.